Oh, hello Hân. Hân ơi. Dạ, yeah. hello teacher. <cười> How are you? I'm doing fine. Okay, what did you do today? Um, I um, finished the lesson oh. uh, in the afternoon. Uh, yes, in the afternoon. Mm. Okay, you just finished a lesson in the afternoon. Okay, uh, did you have dinner? Mm, yes, mm, I eat some uh, uh, vegetable mm. with the uh, fish and some rice mm, I buy in the near shop oh. near my hand. Mm, okay, I see. That sounds, that sounds delicious. You know, I went to um, Ho Chi Minh City today. I just got home. <laughs> yeah. I went to District 1. Yeah. yeah. So where do you live? In District 1? Uh, what street? Um, uh, uh, street. Uh, John Hong Street. I went to uh, Pastor Street this morning. <laughs> do you know Pastor Street? Mm, yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, I went oh, there. Yes. Mm, yeah, I went there to get some of my paperwork done. So, yeah. All right. So now, uh, Ding hasn't arrived yet. So I'm just going to fix your homework, okay? In your workbook. So, uh, what were you asked to do at home in the last lesson? Which page, Hong? Bài tập về nhà của cái hôm trước là bài nào hả em? Em làm được cái bài nào rồi? Trong cuốn workbook á. Dạ, là ba trang. Ừ. Ba trang, trang mấy đến trang mấy? Trong cuốn bài tập đúng không cô? Ừ. What page? Dạ, 16, 17, 18. Ok, alright. 16, 17, 18. Ok. Ủa, mình học cái phần style and fashion rồi hả? Mình học unit 3 rồi hả không? Phải không? Dạ Ủa vậy hả? Sao hãy an báo? Ờ, sao hãy an báo là hôm nay cô dạy unit free ta mở, mở đầu unit free ta ha. Ok Vậy hôm nay hôm bữa mình học unit free phần A đúng không? Dạ không, hồi hôm học phần D á cô Phần D, á à, phần D là unit đó, Phần D Phần D là của unit uh, 2 mà Ủa là dạ. sao? 2D hai d ờ đúng rồi ơi ờ, vậy đúng rồi giờ chưa học unit free ừ. mà cô thấy ừ. là bài tập của unit free rồi nên cô mới hỏi á ừ. rồi chỉ vì cô sẽ sửa bài ừ. ở trang mười sáu trang mười sáu hen ok à, chờ cô không có cái file mà bài sách bài tập cho nên là em sẽ nhìn vào trong sách ha cô sẽ nhìn vào trong sách của cô rồi bây giờ now exercise number one read the email then check the correct adjectives ok so number one hong ơi can you read number one with the adjective that you yeah. chose để em lấy cái cuốn bài tập đi nha cô. Ok. Alright, yes. Cô ơi là trang 16 nha cô. Dạ, trang 16 nha, page 16. Trang 16, uh, bài số 1 mm. Ok, question number 1 The hotel is The, hell, the hotel is interesting Ok, uh, number 2 The Japanese street names are The Japanese street names are amusing Are uh, amusing, ok Where did you find this information? Which paragraph, which line? À, em tìm được cái thông tin nào chỗ nào? Đoạn máy, câu máy. 
Which paragraph? Which line? Yeah, đồng ba. Okay, paragraph ba không một. Line number one. Uh, okay. Yeah, very. Uh, what line? Number one. Đoạn ba câu một. Hãy đọc cho cô nghe câu đó. Number one, two, three. Yeah, ba câu luôn là um, có bắt đầu từ câu thứ hai. When I asked for directions, no one understood me. I was pronouncing the street names like Spanish words. Okay, they are very difficult to say. So, you said that number two you chose amusing, right? Yes. Ah, uh, but there was no word saying amusing here. <laughs> Why did you choose it? Okay, so we just know that they are very yeah. difficult to say. So we choose B, challenging. Okay? Challenging. Yes, challenging. <coughs> it means uh, very difficult. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now number yeah. three. Hang on, number three. Angela. Angela, these two things that were embarrassing okay where did you find this information um barrack to uh, like um by okay can you read it how embarrassing i hope victor and missy is weren't detrusted with me oh yeah that's one thing okay where is the other thing so you said Angela did two things. So that was just one thing. Okay, what's the other one? Oh, uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, now yeah. let's have a look at paragraph number three. Okay, number so three. line number one. I was yeah. also embarrassed while I was traveling around the city yesterday. Okay. I don't speak Japanese, but I speak English. So when I asked for directions, no one understood me. I was pronouncing the street names like Spanish words. Okay, so that's the the second the the second thing that Angela did, and it was embarrassing. Okay, yes. so two things. Yeah. All right. Now exercise number two. Read the text again, then answer the questions. Write complete sentences. So question number one, Hong Ai, where is Angela staying in Kyoto? Um, Angela stay in um in in reopen yes okay in a reopen all right what is it what is a reopen it's a interesting place see <laughs> okay well reopen it's a traditional japanese hotel do you see it do you see it reopen it's a traditional japanese hotel do you see it Hong? Huh? Em có thấy chỗ đó không? Người ta dạy yes. ừ, yeah. Ok. Now number 2. Who gives Angela tea? Um, um, their daughter brings Angela tea in the oh. evening before. Ok. Their daughter. She go to bed. Yes, but who are they? Who are they? Em nói là their daughter, con gái của họ, họ là ai? Mình phải nhắc đến tên người đó rồi, thì nó là their daughter, thì người ta mới biết chứ. Đúng không? Cái này hình như của nó lần rồi. Cô ví dụ đi, em nói là uh, I meet Nam so yesterday, đúng không? Uh, em gặp Nam ngày hôm qua. Xong rồi em nói là, em mới nói là he is, he looks really tired. Đó, như vậy thì người ta mới hiểu là à ok, he chỗ này là Nam. Đó. còn tự nhiên em vô là ok em em nói là uh, I met him yesterday cái he looked tired cái cô mới hỏi là who is he 
đúng không cái anh đó là ai cô đâu biết đâu đúng không ừ thì đó bây giờ cũng mới hỏi cho nên là who are they chỉ mấy cái người này là ai họ là ai cô không biết vậy thì mình đổi sao giờ a man and woman's home <cười> No, uh, who are they? Hai cái người này là ai? Tên gì? Tên là Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Ito, đúng không? Ito. Ờ, Ito, chỗ này em phải nói là con con của hai người này chứ. Mình sẽ nói là Mr. and Mrs. Ito's daughter. Được chưa? Daughter. Ừ, yeah. nghĩ ha. Mình phải ask chỗ đó là xong vậy thôi. Vậy thì đây ở đây là hai cái người này. Tại vì mình chưa có giới thiệu hai người này trước, đúng không? người ta hỏi gì đó, người ta hỏi cái câu hỏi như vậy đó, rồi xong rồi cái mình phải giới thiệu hai người này trước rồi mình mới nói là te đua chờ mới được, còn không thì cứ việc phải s đằng sau tên của họ thôi, ha, rồi ừ, nhớ chỗ đó nha. Number three, what two embarrassing things did Angela do? Um, Angela was also in Paris. Why? She was traveling around the city yesterday. She don't speak Japanese, but she speaks Spanish. Mm, not really, no. Đây là một câu chuyện rất là dài. Vậy thì khi người ta hỏi là hai cái, hai cái việc mà rất là kiểu như là làm cho Angela cảm thấy kiểu như là gọi là xấu hổ là hai cái việc gì? Em chỉ cần tóm tắt là cho cô thôi. Bây giờ em đọc hết hai cái việc luôn đi. Mình biết được hai cái việc đó là hai việc gì rồi. Vậy em nói một tiếng Việt thì cho cô coi hai việc đó là hai việc gì vậy? Việc thứ nhất là gì? Là không, không biết nói tiếng Nhật. Ừ, không biết nói tiếng Nhật đúng không? Rồi bạn này á, rồi bạn này á, cứ như là phát âm những cái tên đường ở bên Nhật có giống như tiếng Tây Ban Nha đúng không? Đó. Yeah. Vậy chỗ này đó chính là She pronounced the street names like Spanish words là được. Ha, đó. She yeah. pronounced. Cô ấy đã phát âm the street names like Spanish words. Rồi cái thứ nhất đó là cái thứ đầu tiên. Ok, cái thứ hai là gì? Cái Còn thứ cái... hai là cái uh, cái uh, cái dirty floor. Yeah. Cái ok. Floor so dirty. yes. Vậy thì cái chỗ này mình nói sao? She worked. She worked floor dirty. Yeah. She worked through the house first, and she got the floor dirty. Ok. Đó. Rồi, bạn này kiểu như không có cởi giày ra ha mà đi trên sàn luôn làm cho sàn vô đúng không? Ừ, đó hai cái việc đó thôi. Mình mình sẽ nói là một cái câu chuyện dài nhưng mình phải rút nó lại ha. Chứ mình không bưng hết vào trong này nhé. Mình không có thời gian là cái thứ nhất. Cái thứ hai nó sẽ bị dư thừa. Rồi. Yeah. Ok. Ừ. Now the next one. So what is Angela's opinion of the buses and trains? Angela thing um, bus and um, extremely modern and clean. Mm, okay, yes. She thinks that the buses and trains are extremely modern and clean. Okay. Number four. What is Angela? Sorry, number five. What is Angela doing tomorrow? Angela uh, going to an art museum. Mm. Okay, yes. All right. She's going to an art museum. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much, Hong. Now, let's continue with our lesson today. Okay? So, I'm going to share with you the book now. Wait for me. Yeah. Well, thí dụ mà uh, mình nói là cái uh, cái Angela nghĩ về cái uh, xe bus đó là thiên ở ba hả cô? Hay là um, thiên rồi bus? Mình sẽ nói là she thinks the bus and train thôi ha. Như kiểu nói là mình nói à yeah. cô ấy nghĩ là uh, gì gì đó kiểu như vậy ha. Chứ mình không sẽ không nói là think about. Think about là nghĩ về, nghĩ về, suy nghĩ về một cái gì đó em hiểu không? chứ không phải là cái cực mà mình dùng để mà mình uh, kiểu như đưa ra cái ý kiến của mình ha ừ. yeah. Yeah. ví dụ cô nói yeah. đúng rồi ví dụ như cô nói là oh I think the fish is delicious kiểu như vậy ha à, theo tôi thấy là cái con cá nó rất là ngon đó em hiểu không ừ. nói lên cái ý kiến của mình còn think of hoặc là think about something là mình suy nghĩ ha mình cứ nghĩ nó về một cái điều gì đó chứ không phải là nói là cái ý kiến của mình được chưa Clear? Yeah. Yep. 
Okay, nice. All right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Now let's move to the next part of our lesson today. Unit three. Okay, we are going to start with unit three, style and fashion. Okay, and then we are we are going to look at lesson A today, where we are going to learn some fiction statements and grammar point the grammar point used to. Okay, so now warm up. Let's have a look at the picture. Now I would like you to describe the picture for me. What are the people doing, huh? I give you a minute, okay, to look at this picture and then describe them, okay. So one minute starts. Là mình xem chỗ này có bao nhiêu người mà hay làm gì. Em sẽ lưu tải cái bức tranh đó ha. Ừ, và những người đó đang làm gì. Bức tranh thôi. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, now can you tell me about this picture, please? I see um, six people in uh, the red carpet. Okay, um, on the red carpet. On. on the red carpet. Yes. Yes. Um, two men... Uh, two uh, long hair men, um, and um, um, all, um curly hair uh, women, mm -hmm. um, interview by MC. Yeah, she is near the MC. Okay. Yes. And um, our um, women uh, uh, smile. Smiling. Smiling. Yeah, another or, thing. Or the, smiling, a yes. Photograph. Yes. So who are they? And, um, who are they? Um, famous people. Yeah, they are famous people. Okay. Um, And what are these people? What are these people? Um, fan. Fans. Fans. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, they are. They are the fans. Okay. So the fans and uh the journalist. Do you know journalist? Yes. Yeah, and the journalist. Okay. Yes. All right. Fans and journalists. Okay. So now let's have a look at question B. So which style do you like? Which don't you like and why? So let's have a look at six these six people. Okay, they have like six different styles. Which styles do you like and which don't you like? Why? Can you tell me? Mm, um I like um uh women a uh, women with uh curly hair. Um Because um, uh, I uh, I love uh, her hair oh. and um, he uh, wear uh, yellow shoes. Yeah. Um, I uh, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like, like, do you like her clothes? Uh, yes. 
Mm, okay, all right. So which one don't you like and why? Mm, I uh, don't like um, um, a man uh, wearing a uh, red shirt with um, uh, yellow pants. Yeah, okay, you don't like his style. Why? Uh, because I think uh, they are not um suitable. Ah, okay. Because you think he doesn't look suitable. Okay. So what should he wear? In your opinion, what should he wear? Um, he should wear uh black pants. Mm. With uh, with what? Black pants with um with uh red shirts. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. Thank you very much. Now, since today we are going to talk about fashion. Okay. Let's review some vocabulary about clothes by answering these questions. Okay. So Hong Oi, I would like you to tell me three things. Okay, that we wear to wear on your head. Okay, now can you tell me uh -huh, three things to wear on your head? Your head. What are they? Um, uh, mình no head. Do you see it? Em có thấy không? Head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the hats. 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 Yes. Okay. What else? Hats. Mm. Um, cái trăm cài là cái Bruce Jays đúng không cô? I don't know that word. Cô không biết từ đó luôn á. Can you spell it? Em nói thằng ấy. Dạ không, em không biết từ đó. <laughs> Okay, what else? And the uh, cupboard. Cupboard? Cái thảm hả? Dạ không, cái, cái, cái nón bảo hiểm của cô. Helmet. <laughs> helmet. Helmet. Yeah, helmet. I think it's this one. Yeah, helmet. Yes. What else? And um, cap. Yeah, good job. Cap. Okay. So hat, helmet, and cap. Great job. Perfect. Now the next one. So, uh, tell me, um, tell me uh, something. Tell me three things that we wear to wear on um, our lower body. Lower body. Lower cái phần thân dưới đúng không? Phần thân dưới mình sẽ mặc những cái gì? Um, skirt. Skirt. Yes. Shoes. Shoes. Pants. Pants. Không, shoes là mang chợ ở chân mà. Yeah, uh, shop. 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 Yes, very good. Shops. Okay, now the next one. Tell me... Uh, five things that men and women can wear. Cả hai giới đều mặc được luôn nhé. Okay. Um, là quần áo hay là cả nón? Yes, yes. Quần áo, quần áo, quần áo, quần áo. Cái gì cũng được á. Ba cái, ba. Quần áo ha. Thôi quần áo đi. Rồi, yeah. năm thứ quần áo mà. Năm loại quần áo mà cả phụ nữ và nam giới đều mặc được. Uh, Suốt. Sure. Suit. Yes. Okay. Um, pants. Pants. Shorts. Shorts. T-shirts. T-shirts. And um, shirts. Mm. Okay. Now, finally, tell me five things to wear on our feet. Okay. What, what have you got? 
là năm thứ mang ở chân ừ. yep. à, shoes uh-huh. socks socks sandal sandals sandal yeah sandals <cười> sandal um foot 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 ah okay yeah and um, high heels good job you know this word awesome high heels uh hong ai do you usually wear high heels no um i usually wear sandals why because um i must go uh, um, uh, very much mm. so i can uh, i can um wear high heels because mm, you, yeah. uh, I feel very uh, down chân đó là gì cô? <laughs> painful. Painful. Oh, uh, painful. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, because you have to walk. Yes. yes. A lot. So you have to wear high heels. Yes. Otherwise, you will feel painful. Mm, I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let's have a look at this. Vocabulary. Fashion statements. Now, complete the chart with the correct words. Then listen and check your answers. So now, how many, uh, how many words are, are there? Hong Hoi, how many pictures are there? Uh, ten pictures. Yeah, ten pictures. Okay. Now, I would like you to read these words with me before you do this exercise. Okay. Now let's have a look at the first one. Now listen and repeat after me. A uh, bracelet. A uh, prelist. No, bracelet. Prelist. Bracelet. Bracelet. Yes, bracelet. Okay. Now, bracelet. contact lenses. Contact lenses. Okay. Dye. Dyed hair. Dye hair. Earrings. Earrings. Glasses. Classy. High heels. High heels. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. A ponytail. A ponytail. Sandals. Sandals. You a uniform. Uniform. Okay. Now please help me complete the chart. Okay. So we have shoes, clothing, eyewear, hairstyles, and jewelry. I'm going to give you around two minutes. Okay. Now please do this. Shoes, uh, high heels, and yes. sandals. Okay. Good. Clothing, a uh, clatter jacket, and a uh, uniform. Okay. I wear uh, contact lenses and glasses. Okay. Hairstyle, uh, diet, diet hair, and a uh, ponytail. Yes. Jewelry, uh, earrings, and a uh, bracelet. bracelet. Yes. Bracelets. Bracelets. Okay, nice. All right, thank you so much. Now, let's have a look at the language in context. Fashion story. Okay, now I'm going to read the question for you, okay? And then you should tell me who were each fashion, okay? Now, Tonga, 2,000 years ago, Roman men used to wear sandals and a long piece of clothing called a toga. Weeks in the 17th and 18th centuries, rich men and women in England and France used to wear long wigs. Um, some of the wigs had ponytails, leather jackets. In the in the 1950s, many American men used to wear leather jackets with jeans. Before that time, most teenage most teenagers didn't used to wear jeans, okay? Now, I have some questions to ask you. So, hang on, who wore togas? Who wore? Yeah, togas. Who? Là... Ai đã làm gì cho cô? Ai đã mặc cái này nè? 
uh, uh, Roman men. Okay, Roman men. Can you answer it in a in a long sentence? Em trả lời nguyên câu cho cô đi. Roman men. Sorry, Roman men. Roman men used to wear sandals and a long piece of clothing called a toga. Okay. How about wigs? Okay. So who wore wigs? Um, um, the rich men and women in England and France used to wear long wigs. Yes. Some of the wig, some of the wigs had body tails. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Now, how about leather jackets? Who wore leather jackets? Many American men used to wear leather leather jackets with hmm. jeans. Before that time, most teenagers didn't use to wear jeans. Mm, okay, that's nice. All right, thank you so much. So now, let's move to the grammar points. Okay, so we talked about used to. Okay, so used to, we use it to refer to something that was true in the past, but isn't anymore, or something that happened regularly in the past, but doesn't anymore. Ok, vậy thì cái công thức use to này mình sẽ dùng để mình nói về cái um, gọi là cái một cái thói quen của mình ở trong quá khứ nha em. Ha, một cái điều mình đã từng làm trong quá khứ nhưng mà bây giờ mình không có làm nữa. Ok, for example, we have many example here. Can you read the example for me, Hong? Tập dùm cô những cái ví dụ đây nhé. Dạ. Yeah. I used to have a black leather jacket. Mm. Men and women in England and France used to wear long wigs. Did yeah. you used to dye your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, I used to dye my hair all the time, but I don't dye it anymore. Mm. No, I didn't used to dye my hair. But I do now. Mm. Okay, but him thấy cái chỗ này cái công thức mà phủ định của nó sẽ là didn't used to. Và nhớ là chữ use lúc này sẽ không có đi nữa nhé. Ok. Rồi, mình nhớ ha. Bây giờ cô sẽ cho em một số ví dụ để làm thử nha. Ok. Uh... Alright. Cô sẽ cho như thế này nhé. Đó, mình sử dụng use to nhé để viết những câu này giúp cô. Nếu mà hay có cái thiếu cái từ gì mình nhớ thêm rồi nha Không, không phải là biết như vậy là Có bao nhiêu mình sẽ bê vào hết đâu Ok Now I'm going to give you around 2 minutes for you to uh, write these sentences again and after that you read them for me. Em có khoảng 2 phút để viết là những câu này ha. Sau đây em đọc cho cô nghe nhé. Ok. Sử dụng used to hoặc didn't used to. Cái chỗ là có not thì là có didn't used to đó. Yeah. Yeah, Roy. Okay. All right. Now, can you read it for me, please? Number one. I used to travel by car. Yeah, in, I used to travel by car. In five years ago. No, không có in nữa. 
mình có five years ago rồi thì không có in nha yeah. năm trước ừ, không có in nữa rồi right, number two she she used to drink so much beer when she was young perfect okay number three um they didn't used to go fishing in the afternoon yes perfect okay thank you very much now let's do some more practice with exercise a write sentences with used to or didn't used to then compare with a partner okay so when you see the tick it means you have to write a sentence with used to and when you see a cross it means you have to write a negative sentence with didn't used to okay so now i i would like to give you a few minutes for you to finish this exercise okay after that you let me know okay huh yes mm, all right Carly didn't use to wear a uniform to school. Okay, Carly didn't use to wear a uniform to school. Yes. Number three. Tanner and I used to have ponytails. Yeah. All right. Number four. Brittany. Brittany used to wear the same bracelets. 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 Oh. Every day. Okay. Roberto and Anna didn't use to wear glasses. Mm. Six. Kendra didn't use to like leather skirts. Yeah, leather skirts. Leather skirts. Okay, all right. Now, um, so in order to help you practice using this uh, structure more now we have three sentences here that you need to complete with your own words and they should be and it should be true information okay so for example i used to as a kid but i don't know now i don't know uh, i didn't used to but some of my friends did lots of people used to but they don't now okay now you fill in the blanks with your own words, but it should be true information. Okay, okay, Hong, you are you clear? Is it clear yeah. for you? Yep, okay. So I give you a few minutes for you to prepare this, and after that, you tell me these sentences, okay? Yes. Um, I used to um, behave as a kid, but I don't know. Used to behave? Behave what? Like, are uh, you used to behave badly or well? Badly. Oh, badly. Okay, okay. I see. All right, let me fill it in for you. So, you said, I used to behave badly. Okay, now number two. I didn't use to have friends, but some of my friends did. I didn't used to have? Have friends. Ah, okay. Have friends, okay. I didn't have many friends. Okay, now number three, lots okay. of people. Lots of people use to uh, use to kindle, but they don't know. Use to kindle. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. 
<cười> ý em là sao con này là sao là giống như là nhiều người đã từng sử dụng đèn cày ngày xưa nhưng bây giờ thì không dùng nữa à ok so lots of people used to use candles to use, to use candles oh ok but they don't now mm, ok do you know why do you know why they don't use candles now because now people use uh, lights yeah but people have lights okay electric lights yes electric lights mm, all right thank you yeah that's yeah that's correct okay all right so now let's have a look at this game we are going to play a game together to practice this, this structure more okay wait for me in a second all right so we are going to play this game to practice the structure used to okay so um i i am going to roll the dice okay and then we will just go how can i say well, so according to the number on the dice we will take as many steps as it says on the dice okay and then we answer the question in each square we are in okay is it uh is it okay for you um home is it clear yes mm, okay all right now you go first okay khi mà em đi em đặt em sẽ lấy cái viết em vẽ cho mình hình nhé cái chỗ của em ha để cho mình biết rồi em đang đứng ở đâu okay yes okay hung it's five now take five steps and answer the question um what time did you use to get up in the morning mm -hmm. um làm hỏi mình thức dậy lúc mấy giờ ờ đã từng thức dậy lúc mấy giờ hay bây giờ không còn nữa um i uh, i used to get up at uh, six o'clock when i uh, go to uh, high school when i um, went to high school when i um, go to high school but um uh, but now i uh, go to the university uh, uh, i can get up at uh, half past six mm. okay i see yeah all right now can you roll something here to mark your way so that we know that you you here Em vẽ cái vô đây đi, cô biết em đang ở đó nha. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now my turn. Okay, number three. Okay, one, two, three. What used to be your favorite film? Um, okay, well, I think my favorite film, what used, my favorite film used to be, um, used to be a hong kong film uh, yeah i remember and it um and it is called like the happy family in english so it's i loved it because um it's it was really funny like really relaxing like i could like laugh a lot when i watched it so that's why i loved it so much but not not now not anymore okay hung now your turn Okay, yes. roll the dice. Three. What chore did you used to hate doing? Oh, okay, okay. từ em ơi. Thí dụ mà em bước, em đi tiếp thì em xóa cái cũ đi. Ha. Dạ. Yeah. Ừ, để em để cho mình đừng có nhanh. Rồi, xóa cái nữa. Sau đó vẽ lại. nó không cho mình xóa cô gì vậy ta ok cô nhớ là mình xóa mình mà em bấm cái lúc mà anh do á anh thấy cái nút đó anh do nãy mới xóa được á dạ cô 
của ấy thì um, không còn nào khác nha. <cười> okay. All right. So what chores did you used to hate doing? Là mình đã từng ghét cái uh, cái công việc nào, cái công việc nhà nào. À. I uh, used to hate uh, doing wash um cleaning the floor. Oh, okay. You used to hate cleaning the floor. Why? Because I um in um uh the place are very hard to clean. Okay, if the place was very hard to clean. Yes. yes. This place uh is not the cái mặt bằng mà nó phẳng nó không nó không thế. Là cái chỗ đó nó không có phẳng đó hả? Yeah, đúng rồi. Okay, so the floor wasn't flat. Yes, wasn't flat. Flat, yes, okay. Oh, all right, I see. Okay, now my turn. Okay, for... Nếu muốn làm về cô, để cô xóa hết cho. Okay, for, all right. So I was here. One, two, three, four. So what program, TV programs did you used to watch? Um, well, I used to watch a really famous uh, TV show on, on TV and it is called The Newlyweds. So it, uh, it is about, you know, couples who just got married within five, like within five years of their marriage. And they um, talked about uh the good uh the good you know the good points and you know like the like the points uh that they would like their partner to improve in their marriage life so it was a really interesting um like program for me to watch because sometimes people just told like lots of funny stories about their marriage life so yeah i loved it a lot so i spent lots of time on watching it okay Now your turn, Hong Ai. Là mình từng xem chương trình uh, cuộc sống hôn nhân hả cô? Ờ ừ, đúng rồi, cô coi chương trình The Newly Wets, có nghĩa là cái chương trình vợ chồng son á. The yeah. Newly Wets, cô thử nói cho họ test đi nhá. Newly Wets. Yeah. Okay, so you you got six. And you were here. Okay, hang on. Take six steps. Uh, who did you use to play with? Mm. Um, I used to play uh, with my uh, younger sister. Um, when uh, when I uh, finish the lesson oh. um i usually uh, play with my younger sister um uh, but um when i uh, go to the ho chi minh city uh, i must uh, go to the university so i can play with my younger sister oh okay yeah i see all right that's nice though that's the story <laughs> yeah Okay, number five. All right, so I've got five. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. What games did you use to play? Oh, okay. So um, I remember a few years ago when I had free time, I usually played Candy Crush. Okay, Candy Crush. And um, I think Candy Crush and one more. I just don't really remember, but yeah, I I I when I was really addicted to Candy Crush, honestly. But then I gave up on playing it because I had to study, I had to teach a lot, so I didn't have time for it anymore. <laughs> okay, now your turn. Um, have you ever played Angry Birds? Yes. 
yeah, I yeah, I I think I did. Uh, when I was, I think when I was in uh, secondary school, yeah. So yeah. Angry Bird, yes, it was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I first got my smartphone. You know, I play yeah. like I play Diamond and uh, Angry Birds a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So you got five. So please take five steps. What food did you used to like? Mm. Um, I used to like um fried chicken. Oh. Um, but um uh, when I uh, um when I grow up, I I think uh, this food is not good for my health, mm. so I don't eat. Yeah, I don't. you don't eat it anymore. Oh, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I'm happy you realize that because, yes, fried chicken is not really good for our health. Not at yes. all. Mm. Okay, so now my turn. Um, okay. Oh, three, okay. Um, Okay, this one. One, two, three. What did you used to be afraid of? Okay, this is an interesting question. So you know, I used to um, I used to be afraid of funerals a lot. <laughs> funerals. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know why. I was just really scared of funerals and seeing the coffins and stuff. Um. Yeah, but I mean, like, as I grow, as I grew up, I just realized that death is just a normal thing, and there were, and also I experienced like my loved one, you know, passed away, um, like so many times. So now I'm used to it, and I think that's like those feelings, like those feelings were just normal. It's just something that usually happens in life. And like each of us like have to go through it like one day. So yeah, so now I'm not really scared of funerals or coffins anymore. Em có hiểu ý cô nói không? Do you like funerals? Mà... Sợ tang lễ hả cô? Đúng rồi, yeah, funeral and coffin. Yeah, funerals, là tang lễ, mong còn coffin là cái là quan tài á. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be really scared of them. Okay, all right, now your turn. Number four. Oh, you win, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, yay. Okay, great job. All right, you've done a great job. Thank you very much. Now, let's get back to our lesson today. We have the speaking section. Okay. All right. So now speaking, past and present. So uh, read the list, add two more questions about style and fashion, then interview your partner, take notes. Okay. So what kind of clothing did you used to wear? What kind of hairstyles did you used to have? Uh, what's something you didn't used to wear, but you do now? And you add two more questions. So since you are alone today, you don't have any partner. So I am going to be your partner. So please add two more questions. And then uh, you will ask me. You will interview me. Okay, huh? Yes. Mm, okay, all right. So I give you a few minutes to prepare two more questions. And then just tell me when you're ready to start the interview. Don't forget to take notes about me. Okay? All right, just tell me when you're ready. Mình trả lời ba câu hỏi, soạn thêm hai câu hỏi nữa cô. À, em soạn thêm hai câu hỏi thôi, sao em hỏi cô nhé. Em ừ. vấn cô á, thì mà cô sẽ phỏng vấn một lại em nha.
Get away. Mm, okay, all right. Now I'm ready for your interview, so please interview me. Do you prefer high heels or sneakers? Mm, I think I am more interested in sneakers because they are more um comfortable to wear. And I walk a lot, so I think it's better to wear sneakers than high heels. I mean, I ex I always experience pain whenever I wear high heels for too long. I mean, maybe over two hours. So um, I'm not really I'm not really keen on wearing high heels. Yes. Um. If you don't have classy. Do you use lens, contact lenses? Can you can you say it again? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, if you don't have glasses, mm, will you use contact lenses? Ah, okay, all right. Um, so you mean if I am not nearsighted, will I use contact lenses? Yes. À, có nghĩa là cô không bị cận thì cô có mang len hay không, không không? Dạ đúng rồi. À, ok. Um, well, probably not. <cười> Because I know that it's sometimes it's really inconvenient to, you know, to put on contact lenses, honestly. Because as a person who is nearsighted, I do use uh, contact lenses when, you know, like when necessary. So I think that it's not really inconvenient to wear contact lenses. So if I were not nearsighted, I wouldn't wear contact lenses because it wouldn't be necessary. You know, wearing contact lenses is not really good for our eyes, you know, for a long time, in a long time. So yeah, I don't think I would wear contact lenses if my eyes were good. Yes. How about you? How about you? Um, I don't like your contact lenses because uh, it can uh, wear more than uh, eight hours. Um, so I must wear glasses mm, yeah. all day. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, so um, yeah. All right, so now ask me other questions, please. We have five questions, right? You just ask me two. Yes. Three more. Là em trả lời ba câu hỏi không? Câu, em hỏi cô nữa, có năm câu đúng không? Em phải hỏi cô năm câu chứ, sao mà cô hỏi em lại năm câu? Dạ. Mà có hỏi ba cái câu có sẵn không cô? Yes. Um, what kind of clothing did you use to wear? Um, well, I think in the past, I used to wear leggings. Do you know leggings? Yes. Uh, I used to wear leggings and um, t-shirts a lot because I think they were convenient for me. Um, and I could wear them anywhere. You know, I could wear them to church to um like to a coffee shop to meet my friends to go out but nowadays i am more interested in wearing dresses so yeah because i think they are more you know they are quicker to to put on and um they make me look pretty elegant so i can and also when i go to um you know my classes to teach i need to dress but lightly So wearing dresses is the best choice for me. So yeah, so nowadays I prefer wearing dresses more than wearing just leggings and t-shirts like I did in the past. Okay. Yes. Mm. Um, what kind of hairstyle did you used to have? Mm, I remember I used to have short hair. <laughs> I used to have short hair. Um, yes, when I was 17 years old. I didn't know why I decided to cut my hair short. 
and it wasn't a really good choice honestly because like the short hair didn't really fit me so that I think that was the only one time I, I had my hair you know like cut short I think I will never do it again because I didn't look good <laughs> What's something you didn't use to wear but do know? Okay, so as I said, I didn't really use to wear eyes and dresses because I mostly wore leggings and um, t-shirts. So yeah, nowadays I wear dresses more. Okay, now it's my time to interview you. Okay? Yeah. So, how much? What kind of hairstyles did you used to have? Um, I used to have a uh, long black hair. So, um, uh, I want to, um, trải nghiệm là experience. Yes, uh, experience uh, new hair. So, I uh, cut a little hair mm -hmm. and dye it. Oh, what color did you dye? Mm, I used to uh, natural color. It's mm -hmm. brown. Oh, okay. Mm. So, how did you feel after you dye your hair brown? Mm, um, I like my hairstyle now. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like it. Okay, nice. So, what kind of clothing did you used to wear? Um. Uh, I used to wear short um, skirts. So, um, when I grow up, I uh don't like it, and um, <clears throat> I wear pants. Oh, uh, because wear pants. Um, in my school, um, they don't allow the student wear short skirts oh. so I must wear pants to go to school. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm. But which one do you prefer? Do you prefer to wear pants or short skirts? Mm. At first, I don't like pants. Mm. Uh, so... A long time I wear pants every day, so uh, I uh, I have a little uh, a little light mm. pants because it's very convenient. 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 Mm. Oh, okay. I see. Um. All right. So, what's something you didn't use to wear but you do now? Um. I uh I didn't use to wear um t-shirts. Oh, okay. Because I uh, I uh, don't like them. Mm. Um, but when I uh, go to school, uh, I wear t-shirts. I feel very comfortable and. I begin to like them. Oh, okay. Mm, all right, I see. Now, I'm going to ask you like two more questions, okay? Relate, relating to clothes and uh, fashion. Okay. Um, What colors do you choose to wear when you're happy? Um, when I'm happy, I will choose a pink color because it has um um okay because it's bright uh yes it's bright it's bright colors mm -hmm. um yes mm. okay so uh is pink your favorite color yes a little bit a little bit. Okay. What are the other colors that you like? I like blue color because I when uh when I see something with blue color, I feel very um relaxed. Mm, okay. 
Yeah, I see. All right. So now one more question for you. So um, what's your dressing style? Okay. What's your dressing style? Yes. Um. Là phong cách ăn mặc của bạn là gì? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it like casual or you know how can I say? Is it casual, elegant, um, or you know fancy or simple, something like that? Like yeah, what's your style? My style is sim simple. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, because I uh, go to school all day, so I want to wear um t-shirts and pants. Oh. Uh, I feel very comfortable when I wear them. Um, although I think uh they don't um. Beautiful. They don't. They don't beautiful. Uh, what does that word mean? Um, khi uh, chữ beautiful nó có là chữ ah, đẹp. Ah, beautiful hả em? Yeah. Ah, okay. Although it is not beautiful, chứ they don't beautiful no. Ah, ừ, tính từ phải đi với lại um, tập hình to be đúng không? Hoặc là danh từ. Ồ, although it is not beautiful. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um. Yeah. Thank you very much. So now tell me, do you like wearing dresses? Oh uh, yes. Uh, when I uh go out mm. um, to to attend um uh, the party, mm. I will choose the dress. Oh, okay. Um, how do you feel when you wear, you know, dresses? Um, I think, uh, it is very cute. Mm -hmm. And, um, is it, uh, comfortable? Really, really. And girly, yes, girly, of course. But is it comfortable to wear dresses? Is it comfortable to wear dresses? To wear dresses. Ah, to wear dresses. Is it comfortable? Mm, no. No. Um, no. Cô hỏi là kiểu nếu mà mình mặc áo đầm, mặc áo mặc váy mà áo đầm mà mình cảm thấy thoải mái không? I think um, it is not comfortable oh. because uh, when we wear a dress, we can uh, run, run, um, for example, I uh, go to school late. Mm. Run. If oh. I wear dress, I um, I think uh, I can run some fast. Yeah, nhanh là gì ta? Ah, uh, very fast. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Hong, for sharing with me your thoughts. Now let's keep talking about this topic. Okay. So you are student A, Hong. So please open your book page one hundred seventy. Okay. I'm student B, so I'm just going to open my book on page 128. 28. Uh, okay, wait for a second. Yes. 128. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, 128 now. Okay, so I am student B. Uh, ah, okay, all right. 
Now, um, okay, so now uh, you look at picture, the first picture, okay, huh? and then you describe chuk. You say one sentence at a time, and then I will describe chuk, uh, like how chuk looks now, okay? Is it clear for you? Có nghĩa là bây giờ mình yeah. sẽ so sánh ha. Ừ, hai bạn hai cái người này, cái người này trong quá khứ và trong hiện tại á, nó khác nhau như thế nào đúng không? Rồi, vậy thì em sẽ nói một câu thôi, vậy ta đặt một cái đại diện khác, một cái đặc điểm nào đó của cái người này ở quá khứ. Sử dụng công thức là used to. Ok, còn cô sử dụng công thức ở thì hiện tại đơn để mà nói về cái người này ở hiện tại. Ok, you ready? Nào, này là sách bài tập nó có hơn sách bài học. Oh no, sách bài học của mình nó trên 127. Yeah. Got you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Now you go first. Um. Okay. Chuk used to. Chuk. Um. She. Oh, uh... he. Chứ nhở? He. Uh, he. Oh. He. Là anh đang ngồi dưới gốc cây thế nào? Cô em diễn tả có cái người đó mặc đồ quần áo như thế nào, kiểu như vậy á. Rồi trông ừ. như thế nào, gầy ốm mặc gì đó. Vậy thôi. Um, he is... Uh, he, he used to. He used to... He used to wear t-shirts and uh, um, black pants. Uh, she has... Uh, no, he, 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 he. He... He has long hair. He um, used to have long hair. He used to have. Nói thôi, nói một câu thôi. Em chỉ còn mỗi lần em chỉ nói một câu thôi. Thì giờ em nói là về quần áo đúng không? Thì cô sẽ nói diễn tả quần áo của trước ngay bây giờ. Em hiểu không? Yeah. Ừ. Rồi yeah. ok, em nói là trước used to wear uh, t-shirts and uh, and pants. Ok, now trước wear uh, trước usually wear white uh, shirts and pants and long pants. So that's different, right? Yes. Okay. Now the next one. Chuk used to have long hair. Oh, okay. Long now, hair. yeah. Now he has short black hair. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now the next one. Chuk used to um used used to wear glasses. Glasses. Oh, now he still wear glasses. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm. How about his job? His job? Um, just used to um B. Used to B. Used, uh, used to be a student. Oh, oh. Now I think he is a doctor. He looks like a doctor. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, just used to um have the bag. Have the bag. Ah, the bag. Okay. Used to have the bag. Now, now he, uh, you know, he, uh, he has a computer in front of him. Yes. Okay. Mm. Anything else? Um, just used to be um, fast. Used to be fast. Bag. A uh, fast. Fat. Ah, okay. Fat. Oh, now I think he's really um. I think he's really good looking. He is um. I think he is full figured. Full figured. Yeah. Có nghĩa là kiểu số đo chuẩn đó ha. <cười> kiểu như những cân đối. Okay. Anything else? Chúc used to uh you to use have headphone. Ah. Uh, now he as in now he use uh he uses uh earphones <laughs> yeah not headphones okay anything yes. else mm, no okay now let's have a look at amy okay yes all right are you ready to describe amy mm, amy used to have Short hair. Oh, now Amy had long blonde hair, and she has mm -hmm. a ponytail. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Amy used to used to wear dress. 
Oh, now she wears a t-shirt. Sorry, she wears shirts and skirts and long socks. Um, Amy used to be uh, nhân viên là gì cô? Uh, used to be phải nhân viên không? Um, hay là bà chủ ở nước hoa? Oh, used to be a a boss. Yes, okay, a boss at a shop. Okay. At a shop. Hmm. Hello, the owner of a shop. Owner of the shop. shop. Oh, that's interesting because I think now she looks like a student. As in she is in her classroom with other students. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What's bây giờ cô ta là học sinh cô. Ừ, đúng rồi. Tại cô thấy là cái cô này ngồi trong lớp á. Tới cô nhé nào, my turn. So, now, uh, Amy, um, hmm, what do I say? Now, Amy wears glasses. Now. Yeah, um, now, Amy wears glasses. Um, Amy, you didn't use to didn't use to wear classes. Oh, that interesting. Okay. Mm. Huh, anything else? Let me see. Okay, now Amy doesn't wear jewelry. Amy doesn't wear jewelry. No. Um, Amy used to wear. Uh, earring and gom cổ. Necklace. Okay. Necklace. Necklace. Yeah, let necklace. me write it in the chess box for you. Uh, necklace. Yes. Okay, necklace. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, all right. So, Amy. Uh, Amy looks pretty young now. Pretty young now. Yeah, young. Amy is um, really young now. Amy used to look. Ah, uh, Amy uh, used to look uh, young, like now. Phải không? Young. I don't think so. Older. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Amy used to look older. All right. Older. Yes. Now let me think. Anything else? Mm, I think that's enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, would you like to have a look at how Chuck and Amy looks now? I'm going to share the screen with you. Amy. This is Amy now. Yes. <laughs> okay. So she looks younger, oh. right? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Young yes. Mm. And this is Chuck now. Does he look younger? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And he look younger and cô ta bị cận. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. So, we have had a really fun uh, activity to do, okay? Now, I would like you to tell me about the clothes you wearing. Okay, so um, Hong I, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Mm, what are you wearing? Là hiện tại mình đang mặc gì hả cô? Yes. Um, I. Uh, à, I wear. I am wearing. I am wearing a shorts with t-shirts. Oh, okay. You wear shorts with t-shirts. Okay, now ask me. What are you wearing? Um, I'm wearing a white shirt with long black pants and glasses. Okay. Yes. Mm. Um, I see your shirts mm. like. Uh, like Ch Chinese. Yeah, it looks like yeah. Chinese, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or it looks like Chinese people 
or the people <cười> who go to pagodas, right? Oh, yes. Đúng rồi, giống đồ lam đúng không? <cười> yeah, but not really. It just how it looks, you know, the style. It just, yeah, how it, yeah. Is, how it was designed. Yeah, rồi em lưu ý là đối với cái dạng mà mình nói là t-shirt, áo thun đúng không? Vậy thì áo sơ mi sẽ là shirt. Vậy thì đối với cái dạng áo kiểu như thế này á, thì nó cũng là shirt luôn. Ha? Yeah. Hmm, shirt luôn nhé. Còn chỉ có áo thun, áo là bằng chất liệu thun thôi. Thì nó mới là t-shirt for sure. Còn những cái khác, chất liệu khác, von hay là von hay là kiểu uh, kate hay là vải uh, các hàng gì đó. Những cái vải đó cũng là, mình khi mà mình làm áo kiểu thì nó cũng là uh, shirt. Ha? Mm. Yeah. Right, okay. All right. So, we've learned about, we've talk, learned and talked about clothes and uh, fashion today. So, did you enjoy the lesson today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Although you are alone with that thing, but we, I think we spend, you know, I think we spend good time together, right? <laughs> yes, thank you. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome. So, do you have any question for me? Mm, no. Oh, okay. So, if you don't, let me give you some homework. So today we um we have lesson three, unit three. So uh your homework is going to be on page 17, 18, 19, okay? 17, 18, 19. Yes. Is it clear for you? Yes. Mm, okay, all right. So uh if you don't have any other question. Then our class today um finishes here, and I will see you again next week. Okay. Yes. Mm. Thank you very much for joining me, Hong. Uh, have a nice evening and good night. See you. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye.